When you come to a Rep Rep Festival, you see amazing things, and this is definitely amazing. I can't wait to show you. This is my friend Ajax. How you doing? Doing well, thank you. Tell me about this incredible device. So, uh, basically, we, uh, we had all these ways of testing TD that were very intricate, very tedious to print all these things. Tedious, I guess. Tedious, it, right? yeah, yeah, tedious, yep. <laughs> and so, um, we wanted to be able to test directly off of the filament. So, I made this box, started from scratch, uh, just used a bunch of open source Adafruit sensors and uh, RGB LEDs, like uh, in the Voron, the NeoPixels that you use. So I just threw some of those in there to light up the filament from one side and check the TD from the other side. So capture TD and color, and you know it saves us a lot of time where we don't have to print these. Oh, I bet. Now, you keep saying TD, and just to yep. make sure everybody understands at home, we're talking about transmission distance. Correct. Yep. And that is how much light passes through a filament. Yep, yep. When we talk about transmission distance, though, don't we talk about the layer height at which you are printing it? Yeah, so TD is directly correlating to, like that number is how far in millimeters the light will travel before it no longer blends with the color below it. Now we're sticking a 1.75 millimeter yep. piece of filament in yep. here. Is the TD for this the same as the TD for, say, a 0.08 millimeter oh, layer? Oh yeah, yeah, so the reason why it's the same is we're just measuring a, an intensity of light on the other side. And so it's, it's basically just taking a calculation of if only 10% of the light gets through, then that correlates to a certain TD value, right? A, a certain distance that it can go through. With something like this though, and you said it saves time beforehand to get the transmission distance of a material, yeah. you had to print it. Correct, yep. And shine a light through it, yep. and then print another material and shine a light through it and just see which one was a little bit brighter. Yeah, exactly. And then have either the tools or the means of measuring it. Yep. So to put a number in. Yep, then a lot of that was kind of uh, subjective, right? Because you could check with the old way of, do one of the old ways of doing it. Oh, you made that too, huh? Well, this one was actually, Steve and I both kind of worked together on this one, but still took time, right? And if, you, if it was more than four, then you'd have to print these little, in the same color, you'd print these little plus fours and stick under it. And then you'd have like, if it's like a 27, you have a bunch of these stacking up, right? And it gets crazy. Like, look it at all It just really got really complicated yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so, and not only that, but there's like a little bit of subjectivity to it, right? Because you're you're like checking it, like whether you're under light or no light for like for room light, right? And so it looks different if you cover it. This kind of takes that guesswork out of it as well by having it all enclosed in one system that's consistent every time. When we talk about the transmission distance too and, and Hueforge, we're already mm -hmm. talking about an application that I'm gonna be honest with you is a little bit complex. Sure, yep. And anything you can do to simplify the process for which someone is using it, yep. such as transmission distance of materials, that's right. really just gonna mean more people can use the software, right? Absolutely, yeah. And that's another thing that we're trying to do to make it even simpler is I'm working directly with Steve to have these boxes integrate directly into Hueforge so that when you have this connected to your computer that's running Hueforge and you stick a filament in and it scans it, it's gonna automatically pop up the window to add a new filament to your, to your Hueforge library. Well now, that's an interesting topic because yeah. like you said, some Adafruit sensors yep. in a 3D printed case, what's the total cost for you in this? For me, I can probably, if I buy like 100 or 200, 300 of these at a time, I can probably build these for about $10 a piece. $10? Yeah. That's incredibly reasonable for something like this. Yep. So then, does the future look like possibly you putting together kits for yep. people to purchase? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I did to make this process even easier is rather than having wires they have to solder to all these boards, as I developed two, two, two PCBs through PCB Way, not sponsored by the way. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so they helped me, like I, I printed, or I built two boards and had them, they're unpopulated, so I had to populate those at the moment. Um, but yeah, so those boards go on here, you solder headers onto them, and it all just snaps together. There's no wires to deal with. So I'll be selling that as a kit. Um, there will be an option to sell source. You'll just have to get the software or the firmware that runs on it um, as a license for like five or 10 bucks, 15 bucks, somewhere in there. And then you can build your own with whatever, as long as they're the same components, because otherwise you're going to lose consistency, right? But yeah, so you'd be able to source it all yourself if you really want to. That's amazing. People yeah. are really going to take advantage of that, I bet. Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. I'll also, I'll also be uh, selling them probably pre-built just like this, ready to go as well. For transmission distance though, one of the ways is to demonstrate it is visually and those butterflies are yeah, perfect, right? Can absolutely. we talk about that for a moment? Yeah, for sure. So these butterflies were uh, printed the exact same settings. So this butterfly here, I, I set it up with a, a, a white TD filament of four, uh, hatchbox purple. These are both ABS um, and black and the black on the back. So it's only three colors. And the only difference between the two is I swapped out the white and hit reprint. And so like this white, t this white filament here has a TD of, a, of around four. 
and this one has a TD of about 25. And so like you're just getting pure color blending because of that property of the filament. So with th this being four, it means that the, the light can get through more. Less, less, less. Sorry, yeah, less. yeah. So you're getting more of that white because it's it's transitioning to that color sooner. There we go, okay, yeah. 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 Yep. Just takes a little while for the brain to wrap around yeah, it, yeah, you know? Yeah, for sure. This has been quite an education because this is almost a, a brand new science within additive. I don't wanna, I mean, not that it didn't exist before, right, but right. being used for additive and filament painting, like these are extraordinary. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Before now, nobody needed this value, right? Nobody needs to know whether light went through a filament or not, really, right? Yeah, yeah so right, not at all. It's a whole new world. Okay, well, so we're kind of at the end here, and I want to make sure people know more about this because okay. they're going to want to look it up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, sure. Look at the camera right there. Tell yeah. the audience where they can go to find out more about what we just talked about. So I don't have anything set up currently for like myself for this, but most of this has been done on the HueForge Discord. So if you already, and it is private, but if you already have HueForge, you can by all means come in there. There will be announcement made there. Um, Polymaker may be so gracious as to let us announce it there as well, uh, but it'll also be all over my uh, Twitter. I do like to offer my audience a high five at the end. You up for it? Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks Good. for watching. If you made this far, awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the things. And as always, high five. Yeah! <laughs>